fulfilled. And three wise men knew that this was to occur soon. So they traveled to Israel in search of the Lord. was very disturbed by them. As far as he and Rome knew, he was the only king of the Jews. Now he was being told by strangers from the east that a recently born child was the king of Jews. He gathered the chief priests and scribes and demanded to know where Christ was to be born. <coughs> the child will be born in Bethlehem in the land of Judea. This is what the prophet wrote. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least of princes, shall come a governor that king might be born. Now Herod was very was very worried by this. He called the wise men to his court again, asking when they had seen the star. Then he gave them his blessing to find the child. Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, send word to me also, that I may also come and worship him. The wise men left and searched the skies for the star. They found it and traveled towards Bethlehem. They discovered the star was above a stable. Entering, they found the child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. Each of the men presented a gift. The first presented gold, the second presented frankincense, and the third presented myrrh. Many years passed after this remarkable event. The child Jesus grew up to become the Son of God, teaching the people and performing wondrous miracles, all through the name of his father. His great ministry began when he was only 30 years old. In that time, Jesus traveled, he, Jesus and his disciples traveled far and wide, preaching, teaching, and doing miracles. I can see again! I can hear again! I can speak now! Glory to God, hallelujah. <laughs> However, God's promise of a Messiah did not end with the birth of Jesus. It ended with his death. Jesus was tried, beaten, and crucified. He bore such intense pain and suffering for the entire world. His blood redeemed us from our sins, and his sacrifice ensured that we would have eternal life with his Father, our Father. After his death, burial, and resurrection, Jesus appeared to his disciples for 40 days, teaching them commandments given by the Holy Ghost. He gathered them one final time for one final message. All of you, do not depart from Jerusalem. Wait for the promise of the Father that you will hear from me. As John truly baptized with the water, so shall I baptize with the Holy Ghost. Lord, Lord, does this mean you're going to restore the kingdom of Israel now? <coughs> it is not for you to know the times and seasons which the Father has put in his own power. But you will receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You will witness with me <coughs> Judea, Samaria, Jerusalem, even unto the corners of the world. And so, Jesus <coughs> left the disciples with a commandment and a gift. His commandment rings true today, as there are many tireless workers in the battlefield, <coughs> serving God faithfully as Abraham, Moses, and David did. Our Lord has commanded that we teach the world the binding truth that Jesus is our Lord, that he has paid for our sins with his blood so that we might one day join him in heaven and worship his blessed name for all eternity. In whom are they all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge? Thank you.